teacher who was sacked from a Church of England school for refusing to teach what she regarded as extreme LGBT lessons could face being banned from the profession entirely. Uh, that came up at a hearing starting today. Gladys Leisure, uh, who worked as a modern foreign languages teacher at a school in Kent, was dismissed in May last year after she told Year 7 pupils, so there's a first year of secondary school, around 11 years old, that LGBT practices were sinful and that humans are born either male or female. She says that is what her Bible taught her. Well, joining me right now is Kevin Lister. He's spokesman for the Bad Law Project. Kevin himself was a maths teacher who was dismissed by a school in Swindon for refusing to use a student's preferred pronoun, allowing them to what is, I think, now called uh, socially transition without their parents' consent. Uh, thank you very much indeed for joining us, Kevin. Thank you, Julia. Um, again, these cases are extraordinary. The first thing that struck me about this case involving this uh, teacher, Gladys, is that um, she'd been a teacher uh, for, for 12 years at the school. It is a Church of England school. She was basically talking about what she has read in the Bible, um, about her beliefs based on biblical teaching. I don't personally agree with what she had to say. I might have some question marks about whether or not I'd want a teacher to say this to my child when she was 11 years old. But um, she claimed she was treated like a dangerous criminal for refusing to teach what she regarded as extreme and politically partisan lessons about LGBT uh, issues. What do you make of uh, what's happened to her? Well, it's um, certainly something extreme that she has been asked to teach. The idea that a boy can become a girl or a girl can become a boy and be celebrated for it is about as extreme a message that any teacher or school can ever give a child. And it's and very it's different, isn't it, from children being told, you know, some people are gay or, or some people believe that they are trans and we should be welcoming and accepting and compassionate and respectful to people who may be different from ourselves um, and, and, you know, being accepting of people. That's, that's kind of what we were taught at my school. That was what we yeah. thought our kids were being taught. And now it is very different, isn't it? And I think you are right to use the word extreme because it, yeah, teachers, it, 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 teachers and pupils are now being told and threatened with expulsion for pupils or sat the sack for teachers as you, that if you don't basically agree to lie and agree to claim and believe and act on the view that, that a boy can become a girl, a girl can become a boy, and not only that, it is a good thing and to be celebrated, um, then, then I'm afraid you are ousted from polite society. That is an extreme view and a view that five years ago would have been treated as ridiculous. Correct. Yeah, it, 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 it is extraordinary. The, I think the, the worrying thing about this article is that it is becoming almost commonplace now. And it's commonplace in the education system across the whole world, from nursery school, schools up to universities. So. Uh, jo uh, Phoenix um, is um, fighting her case today against the Open University. At the other extreme, we've got nursery schools being encouraged by the, uh, the National Union of Teachers to introduce LGBT yeah. um, material in, into those. It's across yeah. the whole. The whole I, well, I, oh, I, I, I know someone who's a, whose child is attending a nursery school. This, this mother sends me this, sends me the images and the, and the stuff from the nursery because she knows it will wind me up. Um, I, I'd have pulled my kid out of the nursery personally, and they are obsessed. I mean, there's not a week that goes by though where there isn't some sort of pride celebration, some encouragement to talk about this. And what, again, I just think stuff that is just totally not irrelevant to to two, three and four year olds. It's just, it's quite bizarre. And one of the things this teacher, a devout Christian, um, uh, was working in a Christian school. Um, one of the things that she said is that she believes that parents who believe they are sending their child to a Christian school, and look, you, there might be parents who aren't Christian, but send their kids to that school as well, just because it might be a good school, um, that, that, that they're expecting Christian teaching. Well, you can't complain about that if you send your child to a, a church school. A Christian teaching is actually in all uh, actually, in all in all our, yeah. our state schools, because it is it is the the recognised religion of this country, the official religion, effectively. But they were taught, te taught teaching children aged 11, 12, 13 that their identities like trans, but also asexual and pansexual. I mean, this stuff is. I'm sorry, with all due respect, it's complete nonsense. It is. It is. It's, it's, it's absolutely absolutely absurd. Coming back to your point before, you know. In, yeah, in the days gone by, we argued and fought for gay rights and 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 and, uh, and 
to avoid any discrimination for, for people's uh, sexual preferences. And that's fine. And that's how it should be. But this is, is a completely different thing. The, the, the article that was in the Telegraph today made great play of the fact that she was not abiding by British values, one of which is tolerance. And what is basically coming along with, with this trans movement into schools is a complete lack of tolerance mm. that anyone who does not subscribe to this view is immediately um, damned as being intolerant. Yeah. And, 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 uh, and, and ultimately, you know, what's happening now is teachers across the country are terrified of, of, the, of losing their jobs. And parents are terrified of sending the children into the state education yeah. system. Oh, absolutely. And, and this is a catastrophe for I, education. I, I, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, I think most pe most parents who aren't worried about this simply don't know what's actually really going on. She's argued, this teacher, that gender identity is not a protected characteristic under the Equality Act 2010, uh, which makes such teaching misleading and partisan. Um, she claims that she decided she would teach the Christian view on LGBT topics, as students were only getting a one-sided narrative. And that's the thing. We're told, well, she can't give her opinions, uh, you know, religious opinions, but actually their children are getting a very politicised, quasi almost religious indoctrination yeah. on this issue. She says she doesn't believe in trans ideology. She said Christians believe sex outside of marriage is a sin. And as a Christian, you need to live your life for God. Um, and she claimed that um, that LG, that, um, that, that, that LGBT uh, being gay or lesbian or bisexual or trans is a sin. She denies that she ever said that God will love you if you are not LGBTQ+. Yeah. Plus. Um, there's obviously a lot of confusion over what she said in the class. It, 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 but the key, the big, it, surely the key thing here, Kevin, is, is that we want our children to hear all different sides, but we need to decide as a nation what, you know, what is the message we want to send to our children. And there's a difference between tolerance and compassion uh, towards people who may be different to us. And basically, the, the, the political, politicised ideological teaching that children are currently getting in our schools. Yeah, and again, in, in the, the guidance from the Department for Education in, in the relationship, sex and education, it says, you know, we've got to teach LGBT. It doesn't say we have to indoctrinate. As part of that teaching of LGBT in schools, the schools could easily be explaining the damages and the harm that's likely to be done to a young person who takes wrong sex hormone treatment. Yeah. Equally, there's, there's DFE guidance on political impartiality in, in schools. And the idea of just giving one aspect of a highly politicised um, um, debate is completely a, in violation of the DFE guidance. Absolutely. Me, that, that, that's the worrying thing about the, uh, the article that's in the Telegraph today, is the DFE still won't make any comments on yeah, this. It's an ongoing case. Well, yeah, thank you to you, Kevin. Very much appreciate you joining us. Kevin Lister himself uh, was uh, uh, was dismissed from his uh, school that he worked at in Swindon. Um, statement actually from the school. We're not naming the school, but the trust that uh, runs this C of E school says delivering a high quality education, supporting the well-being of children is our top priority. Uh, to ensure this is achieved, we promote fundamental British values, including mutual respect and tolerance of those with different faiths and beliefs as part of a broad and balanced curriculum. They teach in line with statutory requirements to promote British values and follow relevant guidance outlined by the Department for Education.